seems the Twitterverse shifted into overdrive this week over why Justin Bieber bailed out early on his Purpose World Tour. Could it be his new rock star pastor directing the Biebs to a higher purpose? Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Byron Pitts. Is it too late now to say sorry? Pop idol Justin Bieber had to say sorry for calling out the rest of his Purpose Tour citing unforeseen circumstances. But now TMZ is reporting that those circumstances may have something to do with this man. We will heal you in places you didn't even know you were broken. Megachurch minister Carl Lentz nicknamed the rock star pastor, whose hip millennial congregation has included the likes of Kylie and Kendall Jenner. We always figure we're gonna reach everybody here. We say from the faceless to the famous. TMZ writing that the decision came after Bieber decided to rededicate his life to Christ and long talks with Lentz, said to be a trusted spiritual advisor. We heard from sources that it was because he was exhausted and he just really wanted to focus on himself and was spending time with his church friends and his pastor and focusing on his spirituality. Justin appearing to be a true believer in Lentz during this Hillsong interview. I just want to love Carl more. The one-time bad boy of Pop's decision comes amidst a spree of other controversies. On Monday, the cold water singer found himself in hot water after being banned from performing in China for past bad behavior. And on Wednesday, he accidentally hit a photographer. He stayed on the scene offering help and no charges were pressed. Hillsong denies having a role in Bieber's decision making, telling ABC News in part, the recent announcement by Justin Bieber and his tour does not involve Hillsong Church. We wish Justin the best for his future. But Lentz's celebrity circle doesn't stop there. Bieber isn't the only one. Irving puts it up. It's good. The pastor is also reported to have NBA All-Star Kyrie Irving's ear. The two pictured here on his Instagram page. TMZ says Irving huddled with Lentz before making his surprising demand to be traded away from LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland is a city of champions. They won a championship together in 2016. No one is saying Lentz told him to make the move. When we first moved here, it just seemed so big. But when we caught up with Lentz in 2014, his influence in the NBA was clear. He baptized Kevin Durant and was even connected with the Knicks. It's the heart-thumping music Tonight we speak salvation in your house. and scripture-rich sermons that have made Lentz a big name in his own right. God will bless you in areas you didn't even know you wanted to be blessed. Focusing on basic biblical principles, the church which originated in Australia now has locations from London to Paris, Kiev to Cape Town. Music has an incredible ability to break down walls and to, to reach people's hearts. It felt like I was backstage at a concert. Less grippy, so. <laughs> but if our conversation was any indication, the powerhouse preacher is more focused on his fellowship than his rising fame. You can't fake who you are. You are who you are. So if who everybody are on our... Who are you? I love people. Tell me what's up. I really want to have you know, the same heart for people that Jesus did, which is to not see what everybody else saw, but try to dig a little bit deeper. I feel like that's how I was reached. Sorry. Pastor Carl may have given a glimpse of his humanity, but he soon shut it down with humor. Don't show this, Byron. This is fake. <laughs> it's all for show. Ugh. No one but Lentz, Bieber, and Irving may ever know if his role as a career counselor is actually for real. But the one job that is real for Lentz this is, awesome. is the one he says is the most important of all, leading people to Jesus, no matter if it's at the club, on the court, or right here in church. Has to come back to Jesus. For Nightline, I'm Byron Pitts in New York.